Hello, this is Mike. No stress, Mike. Dot com. And um, oh, here you still see. This is a different volcano. Uh, that's not the same one that just blew up, erupted here uh, a few days ago. That's another one. But, but anyway, what I want to talk about is um, I'm fixing to, to head out on a, another adventure. And uh, it's and it's made me start thinking. Uh, I'm out of my comfort zone now, and um, so it's like going from the frying pan to the fire kind of thing, you know. Um, I, like I say, I came here. It took me a few days well it takes about one or two days to, for the the culture shock but also you get into a new environment and so it, it took me a few days after getting into a new environment to get used to this environment and then um, after I got kind of used to it well this is what I consider home now you know so and uh, so, and then I go from here to other places. And then I say I'll do my thing in other places and then I'll come back here. And what, what it is, uh, getting out of your comfort zone is a big, big thing. And I never realized how big of a thing it was. Uh, the thing is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I, uh, boy, you don't want to be alone with my thoughts, <laughs> but, but anyway, so I'm thinking, and, um, uh, I'll go down to the park, or up at the park by the, by the, uh, church up on top of the mountain there, I'll, I'll go up there, and I'll hang around there, and I see people with their dogs, and, um, it reminded me, because I, I, train dogs also and um, uh, it reminded me uh, when on a dog if, if it's your dog you you take your dog and you put your dog in different environments uh, change you don't keep them in the same environment all the time this is what a lot of people don't understand that's why they got problems with their dogs uh, but you need to get them out of their comfort zone get them into different environments and then they get used to being in different environments <clears throat> and then it's, it's not it's, doesn't, they don't you know give you trouble when when you do take them and put them you know if you never take your dog out of the house and then you take your dog to the vet well then you, you see you're gonna have problems with your dog your dog doesn't know how to socialize it, it's a, and the thing is it's uncomfortable because it's out of its comfort zone but you have to teach the dog that it's okay to be out of your comfort zone, especially when you're with me. Uh, you know, you hear me talk about my dog, Zena, and we ride the motorcycle from uh, Panama Canal to Canada, Miami, Florida. I mean, we've, we've gone around. Uh, that dog has no idea uh, what getting out or being in a comfort zone is because it's always out of its comfort zone and it knew how to handle itself that's kind of like me I'm out of my comfort zone so much that it's, it's no big deal that's why you learn skills when you get out of your comfort zone but it also it also reminded me not only for uh, us as adults uh, the dogs and in the way of animals animals the same way we you know I'm a cowboy uh, you first get a cow you bring them in you keep them in the small corral and you give it a couple of days to relax and get used to the new environment and then you set it out with the rest of the cattle because while it's in this little corral all the cattle will come over and kind of sniff on it and everybody kind of get to know each other so and that's basically the same way. When I come to a place like this, it normally takes about a month 
before the people around me are accustomed to having me around and they're they're ready to laugh with me and we can have, start having fun and stuff like that. But just seeing me around, they realize I'm no tur tourist. And so then, uh, well, then they'll start talking to me and we'll start having fun and stuff like that. In between that, that month thing, uh, we're, I'm saying hi, we're just a little, little here and there, uh, open the door for them and, you know, using the manners and, and all these things and the, the gifts, giving gifts and stuff like that. Uh, these are these are ways you get uh, people to relax around you, and you get more relaxed when you're when you're in. But you need to do the same with your children. Uh, with your children, the only thing they know is home and going to school and 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 like that. Then uh, they they get set in their ways. They get stuck in their their comfort zone. That's why I was trying to think about how this applies to humans, and it does. It does apply to humans. And I say uh, I've owned uh, businesses. So, yes, uh, we had a house, and we had the rest, the restaurants normally. So then the kids would be coming to the, our business. And so, you know, I mean, their comfort zone wasn't just a house and going to school. And then, like I say, when they, they uh, come to the business, uh, I'd have to send them to the store to, to get stuff or, or whatever. So this way they're, uh, they're changing environments and they don't get set in their ways in their comfort zone. And, uh, and that's what I'm saying. It helps uh, m make people more well-rounded. Uh, that's one reason why I, I leave a lot when I'm in the United States. I mean, I'm a cowboy. I could stay out there on the ranch and play with cows and play with guns and knives and, and nobody will bother me. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, I could do that, but uh, is it healthy for me? And uh, do I grow? Uh, do I get stronger? And this is what I noticed, you know, man, you know, I'm, I'm pretty near 70 years old and uh, I'm growing all the time. I'm learning. I'm doing things, and uh, you know, and it's hard for me. Uh, the bad thing about this, I'll tell you, the bad thing is, uh, others can't relate to me, and I can relate to other people. I mean, I can I get along with a lot of people, but there's a lot of people that can't relate to me. Uh, you can tell in, in the comments, some people get real aggressive and, and, and nasty and they don't know crap <laughs> and they sure don't know crap about me and you know I mean and they are in their own little world, their, their own little comfort zone and I know a lot of things that I do seems to be stupid but the, the ones that are smart uh, can see this stuff that I do and get a little something out of it. The ones that aren't all that smart, like I say, they, they can't relate. And this is what I notice a lot anyway, And because uh, I see a lot of people that can't even come close to relating to, uh, you know, to, to me. And I uh, you know one of the, the things I've noticed this trip, uh, that uh, people <laughs> that I'm meeting you, they uh, they can't relate to me at all, and that is, well, where are you from? You know, well, uh, how would I answer something like that? Uh, up until three years ago, well, 14 years before that, I lived in Central America, Guatemala. And uh, at that time, I was traveling all over if I wasn't taking care of my wife. In five years of that, I was taking care of my wife. But other than that, I was traveling all over. And uh, so, uh, and then, uh, and I say, I'm in Oklahoma, I'm a cowboy. I go there twice a year. And um, so, that, that could kind of be my home. And then again, remember last year, I spent nine months in China. Uh, 
And like I say, I was fixing, I was fixing to go uh, back to Thailand. And I was going, same thing, I'd be spending, I don't know how long I was going to be spending. You know, I mean, these places, when I go to these places, I have no idea how long I'm going to be staying. I mean, I get a one-way ticket when I go to these places. And um, so, uh, changing or getting out of your comfort zone, you're going to uh, learn a lot. Uh, or uh, you're going to be so scared and then you won't leave your comfort zone. Uh, but I saw a thing, uh, now I don't really watch TV, but uh, it was on a, a YouTube video that I was watching. And they were saying that to have things, you can spend money on things, or you can spend money on doing things, going places. And when you do that, relationships get stronger. And they're, they're talking about like a family going, going places and do that. I mean, you can get a new car, or you can take the family and, and go experience something. And uh, the, what they were talking about made me start thinking, and that's right. The experiences is what pulls the family together, not the new car, you know, not, not, not the new house, not the, you know, all this kind of stuff. It's the experiences. And those experiences mean you're getting out of your comfort zone. And so, uh, but I say, I added more to it. I mean, they're doing it by pulling the, the family together, or friends and stuff like that. And I'm the same way. I, I just, I love to travel with people, but like I say, nobody wants to travel. Nobody wants the experience. They don't want to get out of their comfort zone. And, uh, but uh, it's just, it's something you need to consider. It, it's something you need to think on. And uh, like I say, this, now where I'm fixing to go, uh, I'll have some videos after I get there, but I, I, I'm not expecting it to be real adventurous. It's going to be kind of a low-key kind of thing. But the thing is, I'm making relationships. That's what I'm, I'm going for. There's, there's somebody there who speaks English, and so I'm going to go visit them, and uh, they can, uh, we can get along real good, and things will work out, and then maybe something else might, might turn into something. But, and that is what happens when you get out of your comfort zone. Or, like you say, you allow people like me to come in to your comfort zone. And, uh, it take, and that's an art, too. When you go, uh, go in to other people's comfort zones, you know, and that's where the gift giving and, and this type of stuff, uh, you know, you need to have social skills, you need to have regular skills. Like uh, this person I'm going, he doesn't have any idea that I'm into health, and uh, and him and his family is going to work out really good for that. I'll be able to help him out a lot in my health work. And uh, but I say so, having skills that you can share really opens the doors also. But anyway, I thought I'd just share that with you. This is Mike, no stress Mike, dot com.